Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make fabric buttons that go on the edges of garments like this. Um, fabric buttons and most buttons in the 14th century were sewn onto the very edge of the garment rather than here, so you don't have a button placket and you don't have to account for any overlap in the garment. So they just button together like this. They go together just on the edge. So when they're done up, they look like that. Um, it does take a little bit of trial and error to figure out what size circle you want to figure out to get the size of the button. Um, the bigger buttons, like the thicker bu buttons, I've used big size circles. I use the bottom of a thread spool just as a template. Um, so these ones are done on coat weight wool for my hood. And then these ones are smaller. You can see the difference in size circle. I use the, this thread spool and they make little buttons. So these are going to go on a dress that I've made. Um, but you can tell that the size of the button also depends on the thickness of the fabric. So these two circles are the same size. This is a mid-weight wool. This is a really lightweight wool. And that's the difference in size of the buttons. Um, so I will show you how to make these little green buttons. So you start with a circle. And there are different ways to do this. I didn't come up with this method, um, but it's consistently worked for me. There are other ones where you start with a square or stuff them. Um, this, you don't have to do any stuffing of the button after the fact. Um, so you've got the circle and then you just sew on the outside of it, really close to the edge, but not so close that it's gonna pull out. So you go all the way around, and this is like making a yo-yo in quilting, so there are a lot of tutorials on that. Um, so you go all the way around. Until you end up with this little fabric bag. And then you pull it tight. And then you squish it flat. So you have sort of this little 3D poof. And then you want to squish it as flat as you flat and round as you can get it. Which kind of takes work in the edges a little bit depending on how nice your fabric is to you. So now you've got this flat circle. And you're just gonna sew around the outside edge again. And on this, I like to end my stitches so that the thread is on the outside of the button. Which I will show you. Here, so now I've sewn around the edge again. The thread is on the outside of the button. And now you pull it tight again. So. This is a little harder than the first time, and this is where having a really sturdy thread comes, is really helpful. So pull it as tight as you can without breaking the thread, and you end up with something starting to resemble a little button. And then you're going to take a stitch on the edge opposite of the where your thread is coming out. And I don't pull these stitches tight yet because if you do, you end up with a really irregular shape. So I kind of line the edges. So now I'm going about a little bit off of the first stitch, kind of like a star pattern. And then 
opposite of that and kind of work your way around in a circle. My thread knotted up here, just a sec. Um, and you can pull it snug, but not tight yet. And once you've got about three stitches in, then you can pull it tighter and it should pull together more evenly than if you tighten just one stitch. So you can see now it's starting to hold itself together. And if you've got any weird, so this is kind of tending towards an oval right now. So I'm going to put another stitch in at that far side to pull it in. And you just keep doing that on any sides that aren't pulling themselves into the circle, kind of like whack-a-mole. And then once you're pretty happy, it should be a fairly dense button without a lot of squish. You can knot it in the middle. I go under a bunch of stitches and then I like to do a little French knot, but you can knot it in any way that's easy for you. So now you've got your button and then you can leave this as a bit to sew it on with later or you can just cut it off. I usually cut it off because I'm making a bunch all at once. Um, I tend to do this as a travel project, so I don't want them all getting knotted up together. And then when I sew them onto the garment, I just use one long strand of thread and I can uh, go between them. So I'll, I'll sew one button on and then I'll go in the seam, sew the next button on. So I'm not having to do a billion knots with each button. Um, so yeah, there's your fabric button.